Okay, right. Um, I got back. I bought the trailer. I've I've taken the truck in and given it um, a different paint job because I wanted it to switch the trailer. It's a bit sad of me, isn't it? Um, I've actually put the um, radar bobble head mod in. Like I say I'm only going um, non-mod vehicles. Got a couple of my trailers. I think this is a mod trailer, but it, it just makes it a little bit easier. The the trailers I've got, there's it's like either massive or small, so it gives you a couple of intermediate ones. And these do take vehicles as well if you, if you need to. But it does three, so I can get two on on the bed of the truck and three on the trailer, which will give me the steel rolls and the uh, metal beams. So we'll probably put metal beams on the trailer, steel rolls on the bed of the truck, and then we'll deliver those. We can leave the trailer at the north of the bridge, go back in just the truck get Actually, I might take the trailer just in case. I'm not sure about the metal, uh, the medium planks. Um, whether they're going to need double slots or not. So I might take it just in case because you might need one on one. So anyway, we're going to get going. And I've set a route. I'm just going to show the route I've set. So that's the route I've set. Um, we're going to go up and around. So trying to get round here. I suppose I could go along there and try and get a winch on a tree and get past, but easier to just go around there. All the way around, around there. Get me reels and me and me things there. And then we'll go all the way back to here. Unload them, leave the trailer there, and then we've got to go from there to here to get the planks. And then from there back to there. And that bridge should be up, and then we can take the trailer back and either sell it or just leave it. At the trade store, or if we need it again, probably just leave it at the trade store so we can use it again. So keep buying it, selling it. I think it's going to be quite a universal, usable trailer. Um, so yeah, let's uh, crack on. Um, same again with this one. I will probably skip a lot of the driving till we get up there to get loaded, and then same coming back. We're getting near the bridge because it's a lot of driving. These are going to be on the same roads, you know. Most most of these roads, I might show you the bit as we come off the road to go over around the top of the where the bridge is. I haven't done that in this truck yet. Um, so yeah, it's uh, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, to and froing as you as you all know. But if anything happens, I will show you it uh, as normally does with me. I will get stuck somewhere or I've, I've rolled trucks that I think I'm not I can't roll <laughs> and then I roll them so uh, yeah we'll just keep going don't watch some of these rocks on the road they uh, seem to be uh, I know it's it's going they seem to be sunk in the tarmac and then just pop up now so I've got to go this one yeah this is the one it's going to be a sharp one Trying around, I don't think I'm going to get around there again, am I? No. Do a dodgy on my trailer. Boy, hit that tree. I'm mean, probably hit that tree, aren't I? Hopefully, it should just take that tree over. No, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, that's a strong old tree. That's definitely in the video, isn't it? <laughs> and get around there, and then the small tree stalks the mighty plaid. There you go. Oh, and a puddle of water damages the engine. There we go. It's uh. I was in low range, and I was not. I was in auto, so 
Just you know, we'll, uh, put the uh, four wheel on, didn't I? All wheel drive. At least I know I've got the low range if required at some point. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is on the little uh, wooden log bridges. I don't get caught in the wrong rut and it pushed me off. There's a drop here, isn't there? Come on. Come on. Better. Right, so that. We've got to find a better way around that. There's got to be an easier way to get around that. There. I'm wondering whether. Go down there. And come out there. That might be a better way of doing it. Just that last bit, isn't it? See what we get with this one. Oh, we're round anyway. Trying to find the right the right route around those where we're not getting caught. So now we should be basically road all the way now. Take the uh, all-wheel drive off. We'll road all the way, we'll stop at the fuel station just before we get up into the uh, mill factory. Don't know what, I think it's a factory or a mill. Get the steel. And then we can get fuel on the way back. Drop in on loads and then we've got to go up to, so we're not going to get to the fuel station when we go to get the wood. So, fuel station, we're dropping there. We're using about a third of a tank, so uh, we should get away with running from here back to the bridge and then up to the woodyard. Oh, there we go. There's a little scat fuel trailer there as well. That might be required for a job at some point. We don't know. We'll find out. Right, so I think we take... Yeah, look, there's the factory there. Right. One's in, one's out. Stop, so that must be the end. Right, so we want two rolls. No trailer, and we want to go beams. Oh, wow, wow. The beams are doubles. Oh my god. Should have done. So, I need to come back for 
two more beams. Oh, that'd be one, two. I'm gonna do this twice then. Okay. Not more space for anymore, so I've got to come back for two beams. And then plank, so I'm not gonna get so I'm gonna have to do a, th a third run. So I'm gonna have to do another run here. And another run up to get me right, okay. Wow, that's uh threw me a, a, a sight. I'm sure that the beams were small. <laughs> oh well. Uh, unless I'm, get, I'm getting um, confused with concrete blocks and concrete slabs, aren't I? Oh well. Let's uh, get these ones done. We'll come back for some more uh, um, metal beams. We'll drive in. This bit's alright. This gap's not a problem. It's this one up here. I'm wondering if I go down here. that bit Now that'd be all right if you didn't have a trailer. <laughs> right, so let's do that, that. Go, so we needed it lifting up. That got us out of there. Right, so we know we can't go that way with a trailer, but without a trailer, you get through there, not a problem. No. We should be able to go down that way though, because we ain't going to get caught on the bridge. Now, what I need to do is try and come over a bit more so that I'm not that in over so much with the trailer onto the bridge. So let's point in there where we've got a dilemma. Watch this, this one did my engine in going through the other way. Maybe there's a rock in there or something. Big old moon. Big old moon. Come on. That's the rose. That's everything as well. That's a lot of sharp turn as well, isn't it? Flat doesn't have the best turning circle. But a turn early. Can you get around there? Just. I've got to remember when I come around here, I've got to be right out near the barrier. But we can't turn a little bit earlier. Actually, we're not far away from the bridge when we come off there, are we? So, we'll get these delivered, and then we'll get back to take it back to day. And then uh, we can uh, 
I'll run back and get some more metal. Um, what I'll do is if I don't get the metal, I probably won't show you the run again. Unless I have any problems, I'll just show you when I get there, loading up the metal and then coming back here and delivering the metal and then we'll off to do the wood. get some more beams I'll see you at the metal factory um, once I've got the beams um, so you can see that I've driven there gone there's no way of cheating I don't think is it well there probably is a way of cheating I mean but I haven't got to cheat I mean, but I'm going to show you me back at the factory loading two more lots of beams um, I don't know whether it's worth running up to the no because I've got to get two planks anyway so there's no point going up there just to get one then I'm going to have to go out there and get one, so I'll see you at the metal factory. Right, here we are. We are pulling back into... I, I left it at night just for a while I was driving. It didn't really matter. Here we are, we're back at the uh, metal factory. We're going to pick up two more beams. See, I'm in first person. I just thought I'd give it a try inside the truck. Let's have a look. Round into the loading area. We're going to just about make it. Yep. Let's come back out. Come back outside. So, I'll go out here. Load that one. Load that one. Oh, there we go, that's all metal beams done. Let's uh, get these back to the uh, north side of the bridge. We can get around there. Oh, just. Right. As you see, I pulled in the garage and filled up. Uh, let's see how much we used going back this time. We used four gallons last time, didn't we? From, from the petrol station into the factory and back to the petrol station. Let's see if it's four gallons again. Let's see the different materials make different fuel burn <laughs> probably not it's probably just a set amount um, distance and engine so let's have a look three only three oh the reels were either heavier or we just weren't sitting around long enough or as long ticking over so anyway i'll see you back at the bridge we'll get these delivered and then we will turn around and burn for the wood we'll get the uh feeding planks we'll get that bridge open um and then we can move on to the next one which i think Remember, I it might be warehouse problems, or we might be able to go straight on to the docks one. I'm not sure because I can't remember what ones I've done there. We'll have a look, we'll get this done, we'll get the wood, and then we'll get the wood done, and then we'll have a look to see what, what we're going to do. We'll move on to get the uh, I just want to get the port open because it's it's middle of the map to middle of the map, it might be easiest to get across. With the other jobs where we're going to have to ship stuff to and fro, it's just you're, you're right in the middle then. Hopefully, we'll make things a little bit easier anyway. So, uh, yeah, see you back at the bridge. Oh, 
right, here we are. Back at the bridge. Get these delivered. We're going to be looking at getting to the... Uh... Oh, we need... Two medium planks. Uh, didn't use as much fuel this time so I think we're going to be alright so we're going to make a run for the medium planks what I am going to do quickly I went two one too many I could have just done one oh, but it's midday so might have to do it again to get back but here we go we're going to go off uh, you know most of the route it's just as we come down after skipping around where the roads collapsed and we've got to take a detour off there so I will see you as we hit the road just the other side of the cut round of the collapsed road and we'll see what the route is like getting up to the uh, woodyard to get some uh, planks actually been up to this I know I've been over both of these bridges but I don't think it was to go there I think it was to go somewhere else wasn't it yes oh we did take that sign out <laughs> we just went up past it didn't we or we might have actually put that left there I think we was going up for a um, watchtower weren't we Ah oh, no, we did go this way because, as like I said, it's always muddy when you're trying to get to a woodyard. I think, if I'm right, these are only singles and not doubles. There we go, we just need medium planks, so... Oh look, it's just starting to rain. <laughs> as we're in the boggy bit, it just starts to rain. Oh, how perfect. Come on, Plaid, you can do this. Um, I think I might have just pulled this trailer away up here for nothing, but there you go. What I might do is have a quick look at the next job to see what the parts if we need any wood while we're up here. I might as well grab it. Because that would save a wee bit of time. But planks or medium wooden planks yeah I thought they would be two medium wooden planks so we are definitely yeah <laughs> that was lucky it's uh So let's uh, get this back. And that will finish this one then. Yeah, warehouse problems. So I, I think we could have done these either way. Or warehouse problems. Because yeah, double -edged, I double edged sword dance after warehouse problems. I suppose if you do one, you've got to do the other. I think you need to do both of them to get the port open. I don't know. Anyway. Um, we're here. We're doing this one. Whereas problems is going to be a big one. That's going to be another. That's yeah. <laughs> we may uh. Let's see how we go. I need four 
four piece, a uh, four uh, lot trailer. So, so we can uh, get three steel beams. And then we need three rolls in another steel beams in another job. So there's going to be two more runs up there. But I think we'll run up there. Because we could get those run up there. Deliver those. I think we'll have to take the waste first. I'm not sure. That's what I say. Because if I've got to take the waste first, I might send just a vehicle up there without uh, a trailer. Just to pick up the waste. Um, I don't know if we're going to need a crane or not, but we'll find something else. We've got a crane on the back. It's got two slots on the back, like this one. We'll use something different um, to get up there and uh, clear out the uh, garbage. Get that to the port. There we go. We're going to get this one done just before the daylight ends. I don't know how long this is, <laughs> as uh, I've uh, actually recorded this in three different slots, uh, I've interrupted a couple of times, so um, luckily normally when I'm driving in the bit that I'm going to cut out, so hopefully this will be within the, uh, within what I want, so here we go, we're down to the bridge. Get this one finished, double edged sword. And there we go, building the rest of the bridge. Awesome. Double edged sword, thanks for our thanks for your help. The work is going just fine now that we have both supplies and the tools. Your efforts deserve a reward. 2,790 experience and 24,100 money. Nice. That was a nice big payout on that one. Right, so back to the garage. Um, So I'm going to go back to the garage, pop this trailer up, and I'm going to find a four-slot trailer. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, double-edged sword done. Um, and uh, on the next video, as you know, it's going to be warehouse problems. It's going to be quite a major one. Uh, we're going to be running garbage out and basically uh, two lots of metal work in I suppose that's because we've got to build the building so uh, yeah it's uh, that's going to be a good run that one and it's all back down past here as well so we're almost doing the hole in the map from the steel all the way over it might be a quicker way over the top I don't know but um, if not we'll be coming around the main road I might see about getting a different truck a trailer, I don't know, we'll wait and see. Um, I can't remember what else I've got. I've got my frame lag again. Um, I will see you for the next one um, when we uh, do warehouse problems. I need to get round and see if I can put this trailer somewhere so it's out of the way uh, so I'm not running into it all the time um, and these part bays might be good here so yeah might be the best place for it is there off and back onto that quite easily there with just about anything I'm going to get another trailer 
for um, warehouse problems and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.